Right now, with trade wars and tariffs and threats of market retaliation, we spend most of our time talking about corn and soybeans and pork. But there's actually one segment of the market doing pretty well, and that's the pecan industry. Prices are up, and even brand new farmers are getting into the business. Here's Colleen Bradford Krantz. Only almonds surpass these nuts when it comes to U.S. acres dedicated to production. Yet growers say many Americans are unable to identify them. A couple years ago, we went to a show up in New York for wholesale, and I'd say one out of every four people that came by said, oh, walnuts. And you say, well, no, not really, actually, it's pecan. Um, and so there's a lot of work to do domestically. However, enthusiasm outside the U.S., particularly in China, has grown rapidly in the past decade. While domestic consumption of the shelled version has remained relatively steady, increasing nearly 5% between 1997 and 2017, the export volume has grown 460% over the same period. That international interest and the resulting price surge have led to an expansion in pecan-growing regions of the United States. Georgia, the largest pecan-producing state, has seen roughly 5,000 acres added each year since 2011. The pecan prices uh, have uh, exploded, uh, and that in turn has led to a huge increase in uh, interest in pecans. Our acreage is growing rapidly. Pecan producers are optimistic about giving the domestic market a boost as they have, after several failed attempts, approved a federal marketing order allowing self-funded promotion of their product. The plan, launched in the aftermath of China implementing increased tariffs against the industry, includes the new marketing slogan, American Pecans, the original supernut. Those trying to recruit new fans don't care so much how consumers pronounce the name of the antioxidant-rich nut as long as they look beyond the Thanksgiving pie. The nut that we grow is a pecan, and some people say pecan, some people say pecan, and some people say pecan. And I am bound by my marriage vows to, to say pecan. My wife has, has really revolted at pecan, thinking that that's um, something that was put beside the bed in the olden days. USDA reports the nation had 392,700 acres of nut-bearing pecan trees as of 2017. University of Georgia Extension experts estimate that 40% of the nation's pecan acres are in the peach state. However, the data reveals it isn't peach production that has been trimmed back to make way for more pecans. Much of the land we see going into uh, pecan production is coming from row crop fields where they were growing cotton. We also see um, where people have been growing pine trees. Uh, we see a lot of that being cleared. Alex Wilson, a fourth generation grower working his family's Sunnyland Farms in Albany, says the increased interest from China was a game changer. As China began buying more U.S. pecans, the average U.S. price of all pecans grew from $1.12 per pound in 2007 to $2.59 a pound in 2016, an increase of 131 percent. My father likes to use a story that, and I forget the exact year, in 2006 or 2007, we had our best crop ever. And then four or five years later, we made basically half as many pecans and sold them for overall more dollars. The Chinese really enjoy the hickory nut. The hickory nut uh, apparently had uh, some issues with, with quality and production uh, a few years ago. Pecan's actually a member of the hickory family. They used it that year, and, and since then the demand has stayed pretty heavy. The Chinese still prefer it in shell. They see it kind of as a, a communal, like let's crack some pecans and discuss. Um, but that's the older generation, you know, after going over to China a couple different times, you know, you, you notice that the younger generation is actually more interested in a finished product. Farther north in Fort Valley, Georgia, another fourth generation producer, Al Pearson of Pearson Farm, watched as the area's market forces shifted when the Chinese began to buy directly from farmers who had previously sold to shellers the shellers were forced to compete with the Chinese buyers. 
what that did was open up a market for the farmer to supply the end user with the end shell pecans versus going to a sheller. So their entry into the market raised the price and the value of the, of the end shell pecan, tightened up the market for the domestic shelling operations. As all of this played out, others began to take note. New growers invested the $2,200 per acre to plant pecan trees, trees they knew would not produce a full crop for seven to nine years. A recent pecan producers meeting and pruning clinic in Wilcox County, Georgia, had nearly 60 attendees, where in past years there might have been a few dozen. We see a lot of new people getting in uh, to the pecan business right now. It may range anywhere from, uh, you know, people who are retiring and wanting to move back to their uh, farm, family farm, or uh, people who buy a little plot of land and want to try to grow something, um, all the way up to uh, large investment groups. Dixie Hudson, who grew up helping with her family's pecan orchards, had a small pecan grove of 17 trees, but she nearly doubled its size when prices climbed. My few trees that I have pay my property taxes. I have a nice little Christmas, and uh, you know I'm helping people get started. Maybe they'll make $2,000 next year on their pecans. Well, that was $2,000 more than they had last year. Hudson and other new growers, waiting anxiously for their new trees to begin producing, are betting on an increase in loyalty at home to counterbalance potential losses in Chinese market share. For Market to Market, I'm Colleen Bradford Krantz. Interesting to see an entire industry become so elastic. Certainly is, Mike, and the crops do go where the money is, it seems. They certainly do.